So venous drainage. The big vein to remember here is the hepatic portal vein, and that's highlighted in blue up on that picture. And this receives two veins. The first is the superior mesenteric vein, and the second is the splenic vein. The inferior mesenteric vein, unlike the artery, doesn't directly go into the big vessel. It goes via the splenic vein, usually. Um, there's a lot of an anatomical variation about this, um, so often it may drain into the SMV, or it may drain straight into the portal vein. And some of the areas that are drained by the portal vein, so some of the areas that are drained by the splenic and the SMV and the IMV, will also have circulation with some of the veins, and I'll come on to this. So this diagram illustrates essentially the um, venous drainage of the abdomen. And it's, it's not the most detailed, so it doesn't have everything on there, but it has some things that I'd like to illustrate. So the first point is that most things in the abdomen drain via the portal vein. So that's via the IMV, the splenic vein, and the SMV. Some areas drain straight into the IVC. For example, we can see here, so this is the inferior aspect of the rectum, and these veins are going straight into the iliac veins, and then coming up into the IVC. So they're going straight into the systemic circulation. They will come up the IVC, bypass the liver, and go straight into the heart. And there are a lot of collaterals that are also to be seen around the systemic and the portal circulation. So the systemic circulation being that which drains into the IVC, portal circulation being the anything that drains into the SMV, IMV and splenic. And the, there's linkage between the two systems. 